So I've had some people ask about the method that I use to wrap my 18650 cells. I'm no expert, but I uh, figured I'd take this video and just let you kind of see what's going on. So here we go. Have a bunch of cells here that are off the charger and off the test cycle and uh, basically getting ready to get them ready to build into packs. So. To do this, uh, I just use a little razor knife. You can use pretty much anything you have. Um, do be careful, obviously, not to cut yourself, but uh, it's pretty easy. You want to just kind of start near the top and run a reasonable amount of pressure down the cell itself. I do mine all at the same time, just in the interest of making the same motions the same way. So let's go ahead and get all those done. Pretty straightforward. They usually come right off with no issues. So then I just take my fingernail and grab the little piece right there. And if possible, I try and peel up from the bottom, keeping my finger on the top here because I like to save these little insulating rings. Drop a little insulating ring out to the side, throw this in the trash, set that guy to the side, and repeat. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Drop the ring, throw out the plastic. I'll finish the rest of these up and come back in just a minute. Okay, so now we have our cells stripped down of their factory plastic. And now we have to grab our shrinks. I personally get mine from 18650 shrink. That's Keith uh, in the Facebook Facebook group. Thanks a bunch, man. They're great. Um, these things are awesome quality. They're the perfect length and they're just pretty awesome. So in this particular case, I'm going to get three reds and four blues. All of these come from the same batch. I separate my batteries into 50 milliamp hour batches. So it doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to mix them in the packs anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, open up the shrink. Throw it in there. And I try and leave about a millimeter or so, give or take, at the bottom. It's a feel thing. Uh, you'll want to leave a little extra hanging here over the top than you will the bottom. I get all of these done first. Again, just kind of my little process of... How I do it, I, I try and do everything in the same step at the same time for a batch of batteries. So again, just slide it in there, leave about a millimeter or so. And it goes pretty quick. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to knock out a bunch of them pretty quickly. These things are just great quality. 
super consistent on the size the length is perfect um, you can see I have some over there right now if I do my job properly at shrinking them here in just a minute you'll see that they look every bit as good as the factory ones that are sitting over here to the left uh, I've done I don't know 600 or so so we'll pause here and come back in a moment all right so the next step here is to just take these little insulating rings right here these are basically paper you can get them um, also from 18650 shrink from Keith if you'd like um, I also once again check the distance there on the bottom not sure if you can see that but there's about a millimeter give or take maybe a little more um, I have some magnets that uh, that were suggested to me but I just haven't had a chance to kind of work with those quite yet so no big deal you'll get the hang of it the worst that can happen is you'll just have to start over on that particular wrap no big deal all right pretty straightforward operation really everybody does it differently I'm just kind of showing you what works for me you may have a way that's better or you might find some other things out there that uh, that work for you better um, in this particular case I have a uh, El Cheapo $19.95 Wagner heat gun it's got two settings low and high um, I use low and I work from my right side to my left side just to keep everything in a flow so the way I do it is pretty straightforward um, I once again check that depth on each and every one because I don't really like having to redo them but you know can happen if needed so what I do is I actually put my finger in here over the top to hold that little uh, insulating ring down and then I'll give some heat here to this side also too if you can see this there's a seam kind of top and bottom I try and work from one side of that seam to the other that tends to hold this ring down a little bit better uh, speaking for myself again do what do what works for you I'm gonna move these guys out of the way a little bit here because I need to keep this a bit more in focus so again check this distance here I put my finger over the top here it takes a couple seconds for this heat gun to to come alive but you'll see that it starts to fold over like that okay that's great then I just turn it 180 degrees put my finger back down on it again and do the same thing there and then finish it up on the top side roll it on its side give it a little bit on the bottom you're good to go that one is okay not great um, you'll get the hang of it um, pretty quickly you can see here you know, this one that I've done previously when I wasn't on the camera is you know a little bit more like a real factory looking thing that's sort of up to you how much you want to let your OCD uh, kick in <laughs> on this uh, you know the red one here looks pretty good you know they're gonna vary a little bit the biggest thing is you just want to make sure you leave the center untapped and that uh, little insulating ring in there is pretty important as well you can always come back and hit it with a little more heat if you didn't get a perfect seal pretty straightforward so let's go ahead and knock the rest of these out real quick check the distance that one is about right again I put my finger here on the top and to the left hand side of this little seam 
Give it a little heat on top to knock the, the right hand side down. That will help hold that ring in. Turn it 180 degrees and do the same thing on this side. Once again, I've got a little bit too much on the top side. Not a huge deal. It will work just fine. And there you go. Just kind of make your way through them. Okay, let's do that a couple more times here. I'll try and do it at my normal speed here so you can see how quickly it really goes. Not a big deal. Let's rotate this through. Make sure you get heat on all sides and you hit the bottom. And again, so you can see that goes pretty quickly. That is, that's more like it. You can get more precise on it if you want. Uh, Peter at HB Powerwalls, he he has a little method that involves magnets, and, and uh, I do have the magnets. I just haven't had time to set all that stuff up, so I'm just trying it freehand for you. Again, same thing with the reds. It's just a different color. Pretty easy, really. You can do a whole bunch of them in a hurry if you need to. It actually takes just as long to talk about it as it does to do it, to be honest. But uh, I was hoping some of you might get something out of this. If you like it or you want to see anything in particular on my channel, just let me know. Obviously, I'm just getting started. A lot of a lot of ground to be made but uh, let me know if you like it give it a thumbs up if you feel like it's something you want to see more of you know anything charging or battery prep or pack building or anything else I'd be happy to do it for you so thanks a bunch